What in the world is happening here? I just realized there's probably an echo for a lot of that uh, a lot of that intro video. No idea why that's uh, why that's a bound, but uh, apologies for that, my friends. Um, can <laughs> also, what's going on with people resubbing when <laughs> when we're not even here yet? My goodness. Um, we got Kercules coming in. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, beautiful to you. Uh, hello? Mm, sorry. We got Kirk coming in at 41 months. Massive cheers up to you. Hello to you, beautiful. Cheers. Yeah, Mrs. Magoose came in to yell at me. <laughs> came in to yell at me. <laughs> Mrs. Magoots. Um, and also to comma for eight months. My goodness, you guys. Coming in and also said second. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You guys, I thought I thought the alerts were fixed, uh, but I actually I realized I messed up. The alerts are not fixed on the stream starting screen. I accidentally added the wrong source, which is why it was showing my mic being active during the uh, stream starting video. And because it's a rather loud video, um, it was reverberating through my mic. So I'm going to actually fix that right now before I forget, uh, because... Uh, people deserve to be shown on screen. Hopefully this doesn't play out loud. I don't know if it will or not. Um, okay, so we need the... Which one is it? There it is. Lovely. All right, that's fixed. And then uh, we'll just do a bippity boppity boop on that. And perfect. Okay. Although that is going to play some audio there. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know if I'm going to like that or not. So anyway, from now on, it should at least show subs and what have you. Um, I could at least maybe I could add the events one instead of the alerts. Then again, I think it it would hide the stream star. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday, Tuesday. Happy Wednesday. What am I talking about? Happy Wednesday. Lutz, Koro, how are you doing today, Koro? Sorry I missed your stream yesterday. Uh, I hope Slender was all right. I actually went back and watched uh, a bit of your VOD because I was kind of curious how you enjoyed it. Morning to you, Ursa. Hello. Lurk for an in-office day. Ooh. 
Ooh. Well, I hope you have a good in-office day. Coro, Coro, Ursa, Lutz, Cheese, Charles. <laughs> Only the cheesiest. It's funny you said cheese, because uh, a lot of my athletes call me the big cheese, and I have no idea why. Uh, I don't think that they even know why. So. <laughs> no echo here. That's good, at least. We love your delicious subs. <laughs> For reasons, Kirk says. Kirk. Kirk, Kirk. Morning to you, Coleman. Hello, hello. <laughs> Coleman, er, Coleman. Coleman. Morning, missus. Good morning, everyone. Mrs. Lutz. Hello, everyone. Stayed home this morning. Has not been feeling 100%. Uh oh. Are you, uh, do you got the, uh, do you have the day off at least, or do you have to also work from home? I hope it's not the butt or mouth poops. <laughs> mouth poops, huh? And Ursa goes straight to poops, right? <laughs> Get better, Coleman. Uh, don't go pulling a peachy on us, Lutz. Wait, a peachy? What did I. A peachy. I'm all about the poops. Poops is not part of it. Headache now, chills, and started a sore throat last night. No, chills are the worst. I would not wish a, a chill on anybody. Least of all, Coleman T16. We're having a tutorial from a Canon rep about the new paper deck we got. It apparently will change some of our color settings. Exciting stuff. All right. There you go. Sounds like a good in office day. Saying it's Tuesday, You're right? Yeah, it's not forgiving PG for saying Happy Thursday. It was only Wednesday. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. Yeah, I at least figured it out real quick, real quick. I said Tuesday, and as I was saying two, I was like, "What is wrong with me? Why am I saying this?" Sent emails saying if they need anything, they could get a hold of me. But just laying in bed resting, that's good. That's good. Well, I will do my best um, to provide you a comforting experience, Coleman, uh, as comforting as I can be whilst wandering the jungles in green hell, uh, that is, but <laughs> I went back and forth on what game I was going to play. I think I'm going to do something a little different next week just to just just because um, because it it just released on Game Pass and it seems the right amount of silly and on brand with uh, with the Lutz Magoots dealio. Uh, I think we're we might actually try Chivalry 2 out tomorrow. Um, because I've, I've always been interested in that, in the chivalry game, but I've never actually played it before. And now chivalry two is on game pass and it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun So Uh, it'll probably just be a one day thing, but, uh, but yeah, then Friday we'll be unboxing, uh, unboxing some magic spoon and playing some, uh, phasmophobia with friends. So hope you have a good uh, snuggle blanket. Seventh. Good morning, peachy. We were just talking about you and how I almost forgot what day it was today. Hmm. Coaster? Why won't you move? You're supposed to coast when I need you to coast. There it goes. Peachy, peachy. I. Hmm. Hmm. I added more. I measure actually measure out the grounds today. It's Thursday, duh. <laughs> Obviously. Goro, Ursa. Obviously, it's Thursday. Yeah, I said happy Tuesday, and as I was saying Tuesday, I like in the middle of saying twos, I was like, nope. Nope. This isn't right. I haven't forgiven you, Peachy, for that. I'm still laughing about that. <laughs> it's like, Have a great Thursday, everybody. I'm like, eh. Thursday, not Thursday, but I will, in fact, have a great Thursday when Thursday rolls around. So, thank you for the preemptive Thursday well wishing. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, friends, um, I, I did. I'll be honest. I went kind of back and forth. Uh, I do have to say this as well. I um, what I've been trying to do as sort of a way to to push myself into making a little bit, uh, pushing myself out of my comfort zone, if you will. Um, every game that I've been given, I've been trying to make a video on on YouTube. Um, good morning, Guildies. How you doing, Spooky? I'm glad Spooky's here for this because I think I think he'll get a good kick out of it. But uh, I think a lot of you all will as well. But um, I, I've been trying to push myself outside of my comfort zone in making videos for the games I've been given. So I've been given a good amount of games. Um, so we made a Doors Paradox video. Um, that was the first the first video I made on a game that I was given so far. Well, aside from A Tale of Paper. Uh, that one was a little different, though. We just basically did a uh, Let's Play of it. 
uh, essentially. And that might end up being the case for some of these. I, I'm not really sure. There are a couple I don't have any good video ideas for yet. So I'm currently working on the green hell video. Um, you still feel so bad the panic I caused. <laughs> it was epic. Um, I'm still working on the green hell video. That one should be finished up either. Uh, it most likely will be finished up sometime uh, tomorrow evening. Um, and then it'll be ready for release on Friday. Uh, but Stolen Realm, uh, The Wandering Village, Potion Permit uh, are the other videos that I also have to create uh, if, if I were to stick to this here. Um, I, I'll i be honest, I was working on a Stolen Realm video, but I, I think I'm going to have to abandon it. I think I might have to abandon it, uh, but I at least wanted to tell you guys my idea because I felt pretty clever in the idea. Um, Stolen Realm is a difficult... So Spooky Deer has made a video on Stolen Realm uh, that's a that's a review video. It's kind of difficult in my mind to make a video like kind of story out of this. Uh, and that's not what I'm necessarily doing for all of these videos. But I, I was hoping to kind of make a story out of Stolen Realm. I still might. I don't know yet. But I think I have to officially scrap the video idea I really had. So uh, many of you all are familiar with the song um, Sugar We're Going Down by Fallout Boy. Um, I was I was very strongly considering making a uh, a music video of Stolen Realm called Sugar It's Stolen Realm, um, and uh, of course would be in full emo garb. So I'm sorry to I'm sorry to like say that we uh, I can't do that, but I think the reality is is that for me trying to make a three minute long video, I think it would probably take me about three months to do that. Um, and so unfortunately, I think I just have to scrap it until I get significantly better at, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what word you're typing there, PG. I think you nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> We're going down, down. Yeah. Cock it and pull it. Uh, so in the Lana low, low, low round, I, I have no idea what you say. <laughs> Seriously, that's how I always sing it. In an earlier round is uh, is is what's being sung there. Uh, we're going down, down in an earlier round. So, put a lot of L's in it. <laughs> I guess so. A lot of effort to pour into one. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Love the concept. Yeah. In an earlier round. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it, Peachy. But yeah. Sugar, it's stolen realm. So anyway, whenever you guys listen to that song now, but but full emo garb when, please? That's a good question. When should we wear full emo garb? Um, <laughs> yeah, I just I hope when you guys listen to the I hope if you guys listen to that song again, you'll you'll think of me, though. Um, yeah, sugar, it's stolen realm. Uh, you get so many emo simps when you do that, and it's funny. <laughs> During phasmophobia with friends, <laughs> full emo. Actually, I did that. Uh, let's see. Last year we played. I guess it was more Witchet, but we played a little bit of Phasmo, I, I believe, at the end of that stream. Um, so I was, I was, I was being a little emo in that, but yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I, I think I have to scrap that idea. I have another video idea for Stolen Realm. I don't know how much I love it yet. Um, but, uh, but I will say this, it's been difficult trying to push myself out of my comfort zone, uh, making a video for every game I've been given because, uh, sometimes, you know, like video reviews, giving my opinion of it. Um, I think I would have plenty to say, but I, I kind of wanted to do something where I, I wanted to make it a little bit more story driven and I'm struggling on some of them. If I'm being honest, I am, I am. Um, but also I don't want to, I don't want to steal Spooky Deer's Thunder because he's killing it with the review videos. So, um, so yeah. <laughs> Phasmophobia with friends. <laughs> but yeah, I am excited for that too. I'm excited. Um, I don't know who all's going to join just yet. It sounded like, uh, uh, I think Lady Iron is playing on it. it sound like Chaotic might be joining us. So we have at least, we have room for at least one more person. And then if we have more than four, uh, to or three extras... Um, we can always, uh, we can always rotate out. So the good, the good thing is too, that we'll have, uh, we'll have the discord voice chat open. So people can just kind of hang out and, uh, you don't have, you can still participate even if you aren't actually able to jump in the game at the time. So, 
Hoping to get onto that Friday Phasmo friends thing this Friday. Sounds good, Charles. Just want to see some good deaths. Oh, you will. <laughs> I can almost uh, guarantee you, you will. I I do not survive very often in Phasmo. I, I've not figured out the uh, the trick to the game yet. I see people playing on like the hardest difficulty, professional or whatever it is, and I'm like, how in the world are you guys just wandering in there? Like, I literally just turn the corner and there's the ghost. And just, I'm I'm gonzo. I'm like, I haven't even done anything. But, uh, yeah. Maybe they're just better at managing their sanity. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I think maybe I wander around in the dark too much. Speaking of sanity uh, and, and not managing it well, I do not do that well in Green Hell either. I noticed as I was making the video, uh, as I've been working on the video, I've been really poor at managing sanity. I actually listed out all the deaths that I've had. Would you guys like to hear them? <clears throat> so I think I think I gave myself one extra death, maybe because I just quit and decided to load a save because I would have died. But technically, I didn't actually die because if we do this. So I have 10 deaths right now, but I actually have only died nine times. I've only actually seen the you died screen nine times. So what's going on, book punk? Howdy, book. Can I ask a question everyone in the guild? Not game related, just purely curiosity. Of course. I will admit, though, I'm super poor. Wait. I used up all my money equipping Koro, and then she dies. Oh, man. Uh, I'm also poor in Phasmo, so no worries. No worries. Excuse me, book bunk. How's your day going thus far? I imagine it just started, but how is it thus far? Which you prefer, bone-in wings or boneless wings? Uh, depends entirely on my feeling. No, dep depends entirely on my feeling, because I, I would never choose one or the other 100% of the time. <laughs> Koro just like... <laughs> wow. Uh, so I would say, generally speaking, I'm lazy, and I'd probably prefer boneless. But, uh, but bone-in wings taste better, in my opinion. So, yeah. Uh, so it, it really depends. Been up for an hour finishing up a commit to get support off my back. Oh no! What's been going on, Book Punk? Missed most of your playthrough yesterday. How far did you get in Green Hell? Uh, so I'm trying to think. I think you joined in as I got to the drug lab and then I couldn't find any food for a while. Ended up, uh, I didn't actually die at the, at the drug lab. Um, but, uh, I pretty, I mean, I might as well have though. I, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't do so hot, so. Cypher, how you doing today? 10 deaths IRL, amazing. Hugs, <laughs> how you doing, Cypher? You're a bone-in person, book punk? Prefer boneless, but bone-in hits sometimes. It does, exactly. Yes, bone-in, deaf bone-in. See, can't do bone-in. Gotta do my chicken, my adult chicken nuggets boneless all the way. <laughs> so I'm pissed off, you guys. I gotta be honest here. I, I'm sorry to drop the piss word, okay? Um, I'm, I'm pissed off though. I, I wanted to go to Applebee's. Applebee's was running their, like, all you can eat boneless wings for $12.99. Freaking the day we're going to go, the day we're going to go, uh, found out that two days prior, they got rid of the, the, the deal. I'm like, dude, this thing, it didn't even, <laughs> I heard this. I, I, I thought I might get something out of you from that spooky. Um, I, I, I they got rid of the freaking deal. Like I... Could not believe it. It wasn't even around for like, it wasn't even around for like a month. That is such a short, such a short deal. Was it worth it, Charles? It absolutely was, Koro. Aw, very wholesome. This took a 180. <laughs> How many more times can we get him to say bone in? That's a good question. Loot's bone in chat. <laughs> now they do five boneless wings for one dollar. They do? That's a oh, well. That's a really good deal. Are you talking about? Wait, this is this is Applebee's. I, the only time I saw wings on their menu was in the appetizers, which is like eleven dollars for I don't know five wings or something. I don't know something something not very good. I'm a broken man. Spooky has a a piss cake. <laughs> uh, I don't. Yeah, I think it's more. I would say I don't know that it's spooky necessarily, but I'm thinking so, Coro. Okay, thank you. Hope you're all all are well too. Given the hurricanes and all the stuff in the U.S., yeah, it's so so where I'm at, Cipher. It was not not remotely close to me, but uh, it got pretty close. I mean, it got at least pretty close to Kirk. Um, there's some others down there uh, 
you know, in the state of Florida that that are devastated, obviously. Um, it ended up being a really bad storm. Uh, my, my uncle, by the way, I, I was talking about my uncle. He did evacuate. Um, he got out of there. He was on Sanibel Island. And of course, then we saw the, the tweets and news that went viral showing how the causeway like collapsed and nobody was even able to get in or out of the island. And it's like, geez, I'm very, very thankful my uncle left because, uh, like I said, he doesn't live there. He's just retired and spends a lot of time there. Um, but, but he does not actually like, he has a place to go, you know? So I was, I was kind of trying to convince him just to leave, but he's also the most stubborn man in my family. So I knew like me saying something probably wouldn't be the thing to convince him, but uh, thankfully, something did convince him, whether it was me or not. Um, just glad. Glad he left because it ended up being really, really bad there. So. Applebee's? Okay, so I have not seen that at all, Peachy. Maybe I, okay, maybe I, maybe I need to reel in my pissed offedness then. Because five, five wings for a dollar is a good deal. Can you get more than five? Could I get like 15 for three dollars? Oh, when you buy a burger. Gotcha. Okay, okay. Okay, so uh, Applebee's is pretty pretty middle of the road uh, as far as like chain restaurants go, I think. But one thing I always did really like was their quesadilla burger. And I think I still have that. That was pretty tasty back in the day. For some dumb reason, no one other than me knows how to fix customers who have corrupted data. Ooh. Are we talking like, are you having to go into a database to fix it? That could be uh, that could be really monotonous and kind of obnoxious, book punk. Hopefully, uh, hopefully somebody else can figure that out, so you don't have to do it all the time. Who didn't hear? If you like boneless wings, get the frozen Purdue breaded chicken nuggies and bake according to directions. Then pour wing sauce over them. Chef's kiss. The Purdue ones. I don't think I've ever seen those. Your chat is unhinged, which is why I thrive there. Yeah, I'm also happy, Peachy. They're freaks, but they're my freaks, right? It's a relief to hear he's okay. Footage of that devastation was horrible. I know, right? Heart goes out to all of you who live in crazy times. That we do. That we do. Applebee's is subpar for sure. Mr. Peachy was a cook for Applebee's when we first met. Oh, really? Did you meet him at Applebee's? Database and API calls. Gotcha. Always fun going into the restaurant when he was working. If he was pissed off, you could hear him yelling in the restaurant. No way. Really? Who has the time and patience to debone wings? OMG. <laughs> Every good love story begins with we met at Applebee's. That's that's what I heard. Yeah. And uh, also the uh, the country song that came out just in the last like what two years or so about going to Applebee's. God, I actually heard it at the wedding I was at and I was like, wow, I'm going to be honest. Didn't expect to hear it at a wedding. I didn't think it was that uh, good or popular, but. It's, you know, it's whatever. I don't hate it. It's just, it's just funny. I think they send the chickens to Asia and then employ kids to do it, but I'm not sure. Are you taking, talking about the pulling the wings out uh, or the bones out of the bone in wings to turn them boneless? Thousands, and thousands of updates and posts. Oh, dang. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot, book punk. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could write like a script or something. Just to handle it for you. Uh, we met through his friend and I met his friend through MySpace. Let's go. Let's go. MySpace. Yes. So how quickly did he make your uh, your top your top friends list? How quickly? I guess the apples and the bees, not the birds and the bees. In this case, yeah. <laughs> it's all Python scripts. Gotcha. Okay. Python scripts are the best. As everybody knows, I love a good Python session. Uh, was that the guy from MySpace, Tom? Yeah, Tom was the guy from MySpace, yeah. <laughs> OMG. Python for the win. That's my favorite, my favorite, uh, my favorite language, I would say, but I don't, I don't use Python, like, at all anymore, um, unless I am writing a script. And then, uh, yeah, I haven't written, I haven't written much of anything in Python in a while, so. Tom is one of my top friends, of course. Tom was such a loyal friend. Friends for everybody. I'm a fan of English, to be honest. The the English language? Hmm. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I Python, I, I just I I just I like Python, but I don't get to use it anymore. I'm I'm pretty much exclusively like right now I'm working in uh I mean I'm exclusive pretty much exclusively front end. Uh so I mean at best I do sometimes get to work with like Node. Um 
a, a very tiny bit of node. Uh, but but yeah, I mean, right now I, I work with our framework is uh, Next.js, uh, which has actually been really good and uh, really enjoyable to learn. So Next.js, uh, Tailwind uh, has been has also been really fun to learn. Um, but then, yeah, it's just a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of react so uh it's good though it's been it's been really good i've been i've been uh, feeling much more fulfilled by learning this stuff so so it's interesting his friend we were texting and whatnot when i moved up to michigan but his friend said i was crazy because i made a sim family of us in hindsight it's a thousand percent crazy <laughs> oh well you know that's we've all been there right we've all been there <laughs> Only causer uh, is what it's what I know. English is a C tier language at best. Yeah. So he told Mr. Peachy, this girl's crazy. And Mr. Peachy's like, hey, I'm lonely. I'll talk to the crazy girl. And that's how our love story began. <laughs> hey, I dig crazy. I would agree with that psycho killer. <laughs> Nothing weird about that at all. A story for the ages. I've written one React app uh, to sit in front of Jira because Jira was lacking the functionality we needed. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Well, what kind of stuff were you trying to do with Jira? G our Jira is, I think, adequate. Um, I think so, at least. I was young and foolish. It happens, you know. Down horrendous. We have made cringy sim families before. Oh, I've definitely done that. 100%. Now foolish and old. Yeah. A freaking men cipher. <laughs> Sims thing is the gamer equivalent of writing Mr. and Mrs. on a notebook. Oh, 100%. Yeah. I thought so, Ursa, but he didn't think so. I think it's because you have to actually go in and, like, create the characters. I think that's the difference is, you know, uh, you got to actually, like, like set up their looks and their outfit and move them in your house. And <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. His loss, right? <laughs> Can I tell you guys something? Mrs. Magoose was actually interested in one of my friends uh, when I when I kind of uh, introduced myself into her world. No. Insert stalker girlfriend meme face here. Is that the uh, call me the call me maybe uh, girl? <laughs> I think I think that's the face I'm I'm thinking of right now. PG. Rip Jira. Someone made the decision to move from Jira to Agility, and everyone hates it except our customer. Oh dang. Jira's been fine. Jira's been fine for me. I've uh, been using Jira for well, the whole time I've been at this company, actually. We've, we've had Jira. Uh, there have actually been a few enhancements made. It's been pretty good. Um, it used to be it used to be super unreliable. Like, it would just constantly, like, the site would just crash. Um, and then I don't remember what happened. I don't remember what exactly, like, if we somehow instanced it or what. Uh, but Jira is, like, super reliable. I don't know. We used to have a Slack channel. The channel was called is Jira down and then somebody would just like like message in there. Yes, <laughs> you know, uh, it was pretty funny. We it, it was kind of a running joke, but ever since it, we got our own instance of it, it's been super reliable. Overly attached girlfriend. Yes, yes. And that's it, comma. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it may also be because you could put them in dungeons and make them go crazy. So there is that. That's true. Yeah. Girl with the big eyes just staring into your soul. You love Jira? Yeah, I, I think I think I've had I've had I definitely had a positive experience with Jira. Uh we also have like confluence through Jira too, so I, I think we've got pretty much everything, uh, all the functionality we need at least into it. But about three years ago there wasn't anything above Epic and we wanted a dashboard that would report on a collection of epics and report on progress and leave comments. Ah, interesting. Interesting, okay. Yeah, I couldn't tell you if there's anything above Epic now, uh, but Epic is the highest level we use. Um, they create like BRDs and stuff like that, but they actually, I think they, they might use Airtable. So I guess that, that makes sense. They, they, I think they probably use Airtable to keep track of all their Epics, um, but. I'll end my love story by saying I never made a Sim family after meeting Mr. Peachy. I think that's the secret to our success. <laughs> I must mention, I noticed I am changing just like a worm morphs into a butterf beautiful butterfly, but instead of a butterfly, I'm morphing into a grumpy geezer. 49 is a lot of years, I think. <laughs> no, I, I think it's, uh, you know, there's some cynicism that comes along. Uh, I think it builds up throughout life, to be honest. I've definitely mentioned that before. I feel like I've uh, 
I I don't know. There's there's some some things that I'm a little cynical about. But um I, I mean I've told you guys this before. I used to love going to the movie theaters uh to watch movies when they come out. I don't really enjoy it at all anymore. Uh it's it's become one of those things where I just very if it's a comedy movie, I think I would still go, but um but going into the theater like especially if it's going to be a crowded theater, just not not really interested in that anymore. Um I like to focus on the movie as opposed to like the social aspect of going to a movie. Um, I used to enjoy the social aspect of it, so it didn't it didn't bother me as much. Um, but now, in in even when I was a little younger, I mean, like I saw the last the last Harry Potter movie uh, I saw in theaters, and uh, I got very frustrated by the amount of like people people cannot seem to pick up popcorn. It's like they'd reach their hand in, and it's like it, I don't know. They just doing this in there just to make all the noise with the popcorn against the side of their bag and the crumpling of the bags and stuff. I'm like, I can't freaking hear what Ron is whispering right now, you know? So I just get a little, I got a little frustrated about that kind of thing. And then the last movie we went to was the the newest Spider-Man movie, and there was an older woman uh, right on the other side of Mrs. Magoots that was like coughing, which is a big no-no in today's times. Um, and then on top of that, she was like commenting. She was commenting like 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 telling the 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 characters what to do and it's like just just please don't 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 do that okay don't do that so we have initiative now that is above epic but i'm out of the jira admin game so i don't know if initiative is a jira thing or a third party add-on gotcha I, i've not heard of initiative getting old is for the birds don't ever grow up kids hello midlife crisis my boss wanted me to write a third party app for the dashboard app i wrote i should have Aging and cynicism is like dad strength slash old man strength. That's a real thing. I I can't wait for my old man strength. I'm seriously like I'm dying for that. <clears throat> People cannot seem to pick up popcorn as peak old man. Is <laughs> this isn't mystery science theater, you old plague. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it was just like. Yeah, some people are just a lot more patient than me when it comes to that, I guess, because some people kind of giggled when she would say something. And Mrs. Magoots and I are both over here rolling our eyes like, stop. My body is aging, my mind is Benjamin Buttoning. Aww. <clears throat> Benjamin Buttoning. I saw that movie in theaters as well. Um, That's a very long movie. Holy cow. So our movie theaters, we have to pick seats before buying tickets. Mr. Peachy and I went to see a Hunger Games movie in the middle of a weekday. The chair was broken, so he moved one seat over. No sooner than the movie starts, the actual ticket holders for those seats... That's the chairs come up is like you're sitting in our seat. Dang. Yeah. Well, that was the funny thing. When, when we bought tickets for the Spider-Man one, it was the same thing. It was assigned seating. There was only one other couple of tickets sold. Uh, and and I don't like to, you know, they picked some middle seats uh, kind of near the middle back. And so I went to the middle front, leaving one a one row buffer between us because like, you know, this movie is almost out on on, uh, you know, on streaming by now. So there's no uh, it shouldn't be that bad freaking theater was full i couldn't even believe it we show up and we're like holy cow there's a lot of people in here and we sit down and then even more people come in and this the whole theater was freaking sold out like probably the week before it went on streaming services like are you kidding me are you freaking kidding me so that was the other reason why we we're like we we're like seriously we look at each other seriously and so we paid the money kind of had an obnoxious experience and then uh and then next thing we know Watch Spider-Man on streaming this week. Like, seriously? Come on, people. I would trade dad strength for random dad ability to know how to do slash fix things. Do things slash fix things. I I actually, if I can be honest, Spooky, I'm fairly good at that part already. It's the middle of a weekday. Find somewhere else to sit, right? I know. Have you got... Excuse me, have you got your magic spoon order yet? I'm still waiting for mine. I think they may be sending it at FedEx. So mine is actually, I just saw the updated shipping this morning. It's It actually mm, looks like it might get here today. Uh, it might get here today. So I, I'm still going to unbox it on Friday just because I have a little more time, uh, being that I'm I'm off work on Friday. So that might end up pushing our, uh, our, our uh, phasmophobia back to 9 a.m. But, you know, that actually might not be such a bad thing, though. So. Uh, love those theaters that have assigned seating. Usually it's for those seats that recline. Yeah, it was a reclining seat one. Old man rant. 
got to get your third theater visit before it's gone. <laughs> they have an old man rant. This is amazing. <laughs> what are all you kids doing in the Spider-Man movie? Homeowner privilege. SMH. I think mine is supposed to get here today, too. I haven't checked since yesterday. Yeah. Uh, of course, you know, I mean, it's I assume it'll get here like late in the day, but you got yours yesterday. And it sounds like it's pretty good, Charles, at least the taste. Uh, I hope so as well. I hope so as well. I'm not sure which one I'm going to try first. Which one do you guys want me to try? Was it you who wanted me to review the peanut butter one? I think, uh, was it Charles? Somebody. I feel like somebody did, somebody did ask for that. Yeah, hopefully it'll be here today. I gotta, I gotta wait to unbox it though until stream. So it's probably gonna be Friday. I mean, I wouldn't eat it until tomorrow morning at the earliest. Or was it Balinor? Hoping it's like peanut butter crunch. I think that's what it's supposed to be like. I, I am to absolutely at some point gonna be, um, gonna be combining the chocolatey and peanut butter. Hoping it's gonna be like the Reese's Puffs. That's my hope. But, yeah. Yeah, anyway, sorry for the old man rants today. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm, like, kind of an old man about. I think it's mainly just movie theaters. I think it's just mainly the movie theaters. People laugh at things that aren't funny. Um, uh, cheering in the middle of the movie is, uh, you know, it depends. It depends on what it is. Um, clapping at the end of the movie, eh, I, you know, that doesn't bother me too much. I'm always just like, well, that's kind of stupid, but... If people want to clap at the end of the movie, that one doesn't bother me too much. Uh, but it's mainly the the popcorn rustling, telling characters what to do. Um, coughing, again, is a big no-no these days. And uh, uh, if you get your phone out, um, I'm certainly not in... I, like, I, I legitimately do not mind. If somebody pulls out their phone real fast and checks it, that's fine. But if I see them scrolling, oh, I'm going to say something to you. Oh, I'm going to say something. Uh, I don't mind being that guy okay i don't care if you're four rows in front of me if i can see your phone i will get up and i will inform you that i can see your phone that's me uh that doesn't bother me but uh but yeah um yeah pretty much everything else i, I don't know cheering again is not my favorite but it doesn't actually bother me and clapping at the end whatever just kind of it rolls off you know just rolls off how do you feel about youths in your front yard? I actually have youths in my front yard fairly often because my neighbor boys kind of will cut through. Um, it's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> we have a great theater near us. They have a monitor on the back wall that has details about the movies. One of them is tickets sold. Love walking in and seeing seven tickets sold. Oh, that is a great idea. Get it off your chest now. Don't bottle it up. I'm already in need of my old man naps. Dozes off. <laughs> Mr. PT has always hated clapping at the end of the movie. At least it doesn't, at least it doesn't, uh, it doesn't distract me from what's going on. So that's why it doesn't bother me as much. Ma basically, if you're distracting me from, from what I paid to see, I'm going to get upset at you. You darn kids in your screen time. Don't you go in there. Uh, yeah, we need a plan to ambush loot to the theater. We need to all sit around him and pull out our phones and start scrolling. The funny thing is, is that if, if you guys ever somehow could pull that off, uh, It'd be hilarious because I'd be like pissed off at you guys and then you'd be like, hey, by the way, it's Peachy Stars 15. And I'd be like, what? <laughs> and then I'd immediately love you. So, uh, you know, it's it's kind of funny. But clapping in the end is fine, in my opinion. Clapping in the middle, jail, 100 percent, 100 percent. Yeah. Love the Geico commercial where we're becoming our parents and they are in the theater and start clapping. The visor says no one here. No one. There's no one here who made the movie. I, I didn't see that one, I don't think. My loot brings all the youth to the front yard. I'm like, hey, kids, get off my lawn. <laughs> my power will go off in about 10 minutes. I have to leave you goots and goodettes. Review my application code a bit and hibernate my PC and then myself. <laughs> all right, Cypher. Well, thanks for stopping in. Um, be safe, all right? Be safe. That's how many Mr. Peachy is. They literally can't hear you clapping. Does he do that? They can't hear you. They can't hear you. You're all stupid. <laughs> instead of the noisiest food in the world popcorn they should have marketed the quietest food mashed potatoes oh i'd 100 percent. let me tell you if if they had some good mashed potatoes i'd 100 percent. 
I'd 100% smash some mashed potatoes at the movie theaters. I would. So we all turn around and just yell our names. Peachy, right? <laughs> Koro. Spooky. That'd be funny. Cop in the middle of a theater performance? Allowable because they can react to it, right? Those are all great. <laughs> Dead on impression of Mr. Peachy. Freaking movie theaters serve mashed potatoes. The world would be a much happier place. That'd be amazing. I would tuck some mashed potatoes. Tuck it into some mashed potatoes. This is why it's so nice to enjoy filming them. <laughs> yeah. No one likes mashed potatoes like cranky old men self-designating. Well, they go great if you just have gums. If you got no teeth. You know, it's the perfect food. And actually, um, I had a I had a fall when I was when I was in uh, late middle school. Uh, late middle school? When I was in middle school. What does that mean? I was in seventh grade. I guess I said late middle school because we didn't have middle school back then. It was all elementary up through eighth grade. Anyway, um, when I was in when I was in seventh grade, I had an accent where I slipped and fell and I busted my face up pretty bad. Um, and uh, they actually had kind of like wired my teeth uh, and, and I had like uh, you can actually kind of see it. I mean, you can still see it now, but there's uh, there's some scar tissue here in my lip because uh, it was all stitched up and everything, too. Um, and so for a good period of time, I was on like a liquid, like all liquid diet. And then, uh, and then it was like introducing me to softer foods. Mashed potatoes were, huh. Oh, I ate a lot of mashed potatoes, uh, during that time. It was good. Late middle school, Lutz was 17 in seventh grade. <laughs> I'm actually young for my grade. I graduated high school at 17. So, um... Would you like butter on your mashed potatoes? Proceeds to pour about a cup of melted butter, <laughs> right? Be a flavor. Can we? Oh, we should try that. Has anybody ever tried mashed potatoes with the butter like um, sauce? I don't know what else to call it. Call it. Uh, yeah, we should. We should try to get some movie theater butter on mashed potatoes. I bet that would be really good, actually. Mashed potatoes all day, every day. It was pretty much like that. I ate a lot of soup and a lot of mashed potatoes when I when I actually could start having some more solid foods. Similar diet when I had my tonsils removed. Oh dang, how was the tonsil removal? I don't. I I'm trying to think. Uh, do that. I mean, I'm trying to think if I if I even know anybody that has tonsils removed. I that's not something you hear about very often. That sounds dangerously good. Yeah, nerd, <laughs> nerd alert. One of my weird food combos, I'm sorry if I discuss him with this, is mashed potatoes and cottage cheese. Oh, that's a big nope for me. <laughs> Scoot both on the fork or spoon at the same time. So good. That's a big nope for me. Have to run to an architect meeting. Blech. Blab. <laughs> be back in a bit. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good, Book Punk. Be careful. Uh, be careful with the meeting. Don't know how or why we got into that, but it's one of me and my mom's go-to meals. Ooh, I am not a cottage cheese fan, so uh, that's just... Maybe it would be okay if I like cottage cheese, but... It was five of the time. It was painful and inconvenient from what I remember. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's something that... I feel like it happened a lot when I was younger, too. But it's not something I've heard of in quite a while. I know a lot of people aren't. Yeah. Yeah. Mrs. Magood sometimes puts cottage cheese in her chili. And that's also a big note for me. That's a big note. Yeah. Just not, not for me. Not for me. Chili is perfect the way it is, you know? If you want to add some like shredded cheese on top, maybe even like uh, if you want to put like a dollop of sour cream, that's fine, I guess. But I I'm okay with it just being as is. So dog sit for a couple families, and one of them would add cottage cheese to their dog's food. I can only now only associate cottage cheese as dog food. I think I think Mrs. Magoots has used it uh, to hide pills for the dogs as well. Um, I'm pretty sure, but. <laughs> yeah, I get that. I get that for sure, Spooky. So, Spooky, do you leave tomorrow? Is that... Or do you leave later today? I'm also extremely jealous and sad. You leave today. Dang. What time are you heading out? I'll eat all the cottage cheese in the guild then. Yeah, when you go to raid the guild uh, refrigerator... Uh, it's just going to be your own corner of cottage cheese that nobody else wants. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, I am, uh... Shall I stalk the airport? I'll be your paparazzi, Spooky. Yeah. Spooky dear, over here! Ch -ch 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 -ch. Taking the shuttle to the airport at like 1 p.m. EST. Won't get to San Diego. San Diego until 10 p.m. Cali time. Dang. Dang, okay. Yeah, you must have like a layover then, huh? Because that would be what? Um, 1 a.m.? That's like 1 a.m. Eastern time? Love to have long layovers in Vegas. Oh, dang. Are you even going to be, are you going to have time to even, like, could you uh, jet on over to a slot machine or something like that? Spooky, who are you wearing? Spooky, where are you going? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just, I'm jealous. I would love to meet up with, uh, I would there. love to meet up with some streamer friends. Hello there, True Kelt. I would love to meet up with some streamer friends. Well, I mean, honestly, Spooky, you're... Probably, my, I think you're my only streamer friend that I know of that's going. So I'm really just I jealous because I can't meet up with you. But, um, but yeah, I'd love to go sometime. It seems like a good time. Some of the big, some of the big uh, Twitch streamers that I don't know or care about are going to be there. Um, I'm sure there are some that I do actually enjoy there too. But, uh, Lootscon 2023. If you guys like, I'm I am kind of like serious about this. If you guys want to have a Lootscon sometime, we could make Gen Con. Uh, 2023 eludes con. Um, I'd be willing to do that. And able, willing and able, I should say. Able is more the the, the issue, not so much uh, willing. But Gen Con, I can do 100. percent Not all, the, uh, not on the way there, but on the way back home, I'll have a six hour layover. Oh, geez. Holy cow. Heck yeah! I knew Coleman was at least interested in that. Have you had you been to Gen Con before, Coleman? Because it definitely seems like your kind of place if you haven't. I promise I'm not crazy anymore. <laughs> I was sleeping, but I heard Gen Con. That's <laughs> funny. Didn't somebody say Gen Con? Sorry, I'm yelling a lot. Coleman Michelangelo, true cow. That six hour labor is through demon hours, but Vegas never sleeps, baby. That's true, yeah. You haven't been, okay. Yeah, I will buy I will buy a full weekend pass to Gen Con. And we can plan some meetups if people would like to do that. I, I legitimately, I can commit to that today. Um, but yeah, TwitchCon, I would have to, I'd have to plan out, uh, at least a year in advance at the very least. I'm not crazy anymore. Well, then I'm not interested. <laughs> All right. Uh, True Kelt, how is your day going thus far? How is your day? All right, friends, I think uh, I think I've stalled long enough. I think the hells of the jungle are awaiting. Always want to do Gen Con or there's a uh, Yumicon up here too. never been either. What is that one about? Ichi? Day is good. Slept in. Oh, nice. Very nice. Very nice. I'm kind of curious about something. Can I? I can hug myself. That's awesome. <laughs> nice. A little self lug. Love. Self lug. Quigool says Yumicon is respectfully a weeb fest. <laughs> it's a gaming anime convention in Detroit. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Thanks, True Kel. Yeah, I was just kind of curious. I was like, I, will my name show up on this? And sure enough, it did. Sure enough, it did. So when I hit my hug button, it basically shows me a list of everybody's name in chat. And my name showed up. I could also hug Lootspot Goots. Wes gives himself hugs all the time. I mean, as he should. As he should. My phone is... Uh, okay. It's not work-related, so we're good. Even if it was, we'd still be good. <laughs> Anyway, uh, continue. That seems like, well, no, that does seem like yesterday's game. So let me, let me give you the, the, the deets here, friends. Um, I left the dock camp, uh, on the hunt for the drug lab camp. Found it relatively quick, but, uh, I still, I still get kind of messed up because I don't have much food and water stored up. That's a problem because like me trying to take, uh, you know, take a little trip somewhere unless I'm fully 
fully full of food and and water and whatnot um it just compounds all the issues the thing is i have i have yet to die from starvation a single time or thirst in this game uh, i have not had that happen to me yet but it compounds all of my other issues that end up happening i realized i never actually read off my my deaths to you guys either let me pull it up on uh on my phone hello there um Hello there, John Carlo. Welcome back. How are you doing today? How are you doing? I'm going to go ahead and pause this. Oh, I'm kind of hurt right now. Okay. Um, we got... I'm going to read you guys my deaths. Oops. My deaths here. <laughs> Peachy with the honks. Uh, okay. So my deaths. Uh, first death was infection. Second death, jaguar. Third death, uh, poison by presumably a stingray. Fourth death, jaguar again. Fifth death, cut by skull warrior. Sixth death, cut by skull warrior again. Uh, seventh death, thrust by skull warrior. Um, eighth death, uh, did not give me a reason, but uh, presumably it was drowning. Um, I passed out while uh, while doing uh, while while in a uh, some shallows. I was standing in water, basically, is what happened, and I passed out. But instead of it passing out and then me dying, I just died, uh, and it didn't give me a reason. And then death number nine was another thrust by Skull Warrior. So I've had nine deaths, but I reloaded my save, so I, I, I was about to die. So I counted that as a death as well, because, you know, that's the, that's the chaotic uh, technicality there, I suppose. So Good and you? I'm doing well, John Carlo. Today we're playing some Green Hell. Yeah, if you're not familiar with this game, it is a very brutal survival game. Uh, I'm out in the jungle trying to find uh, my wife, lover, girlfriend, sister. I have no idea. Uh, they, they, they seem to be intimate, but they're not that intimate. So I could see it being a sister-brother relationship and not even being incestuous. Um, <laughs> anyway, consensual honks as DJ would want. Absolutely, yeah. Death by thrusting, eh? What a way to go. Exactly. Death by thrust. That's how I want to die. <laughs> there are worse ways you could die, that's for sure. What was I doing, though? I was supposed to inspect. I... Oh, I forgot I saved here. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of hopeless here, I think. Because I got maggots on that wound. Maggots on that wound. Uh, I don't have any bone needles. What are making these noises over here? Wow, lots of parrots. Let's say me as a figment of his imagination. He's been insane all along. Oh, it's, I mean, that's definitely what's going on, but, um, but I didn't know if, uh, I, I still don't know what she's supposed to be. You know what I mean? I see a tapir over here. Too tired to actually chase this thing down, so hopefully I just see it fall. Yeah, I think I found an abandoned drug factory. I I've already said that. Wait, okay, this thing what? fell down somewhere over here. Here? Are you sure there's no one in there? I haven't seen anyone, but a place like this should have been guarded. Yeah, I don't know where it went. I don't know, <laughs> but someone might show up. That's the problem with throwing your spear. It's got my spear in, like right, well, embedded in I'll it. I'll let you know if I find something useful. So if I don't find it and I somehow survive, it doesn't matter. I'm going to die if I don't find it anyway. How would the spear not kill it? Like, much quicker. Hate when they run. I know. I did. I. I probably just missed it a little bit. Headshots help. That's true. That's true. I should. Uh, I should headshot it, huh? No, I don't. I don't want to use the radio. I'm gonna die anyway, so I don't want to rehear it later. All right. Let's just go ahead. Wait. I didn't even get poisoned from that. We're just gonna go ahead and reload the game. Uh, do I want to stay on this one? Or do I want to go back to my other camp? 
which was, uh, I think this one. Yeah, this one here. Let's go back to this one. Don't listen to Charles. He lied about the food in the drug camp. No, there were, there were, there is food in there. It just took me a while to find it, though. Yeah, I, I don't know why, but it took me a while to find it. And there wasn't as much as I thought. How do you keep these saves straight? Uh, the, the little screenshot helps. The little screenshot there helps because this this is my little shelter that I built. Um, but yeah, I I should try to I could sleep. Let's see what time is it? If I could, yeah, four forty five. Okay, it'll be light when I wake up. That'll definitely help out big time. One thing that does confuse me though is sometimes I um. All right. Sometimes I, I I remember that I have something in my inventory, but then I realize, oh, it's because I died. I don't know why this bag is so much smaller, though. I wish it wasn't. Okay, so we have a bone needle. Uh, that's good. Um, we have two bones there. I need to I need to stay... Okay, Molinari I'm actually doing pretty solid on. Tobacco dressing. Tobacco is anti-venom. Um... Let's see. I need to make a bow. Uh, let's try to make a bow. I know how to do that now. I know how to do that. Did I miss a death? Uh, no, you did not miss. Well, not an actual death. If you want to, we could call it a technicality. Um, the chaotic technicality, if you want. Because she's the one that loves doing that. Um, <laughs> but, but no, I just... <clears throat> I actually loaded the wrong save to begin with. I meant to load this save originally, and, uh, and then I was like, "Well, I'll try to I'll try to salvage it." And and I think that save's just done for. I think it's just done for. All right. And there were coconuts on a tree over here, uh, but again, I don't know that they persist through saves for some odd reason. I think that's a bug in the game, because one of these trees was a coconut tree, and there was one coconut left on it. Yeah, for some reason they they also do not they do not persist through saves, which is pretty frustrating if you ask me. Pretty frustrating. Cuz there was one more coconut left on the tree. But just walking over, okay, I did just save it. If I if I just walk on a point, okay, this hang on a second. No, okay. So the only way that the only way that I uh, get p poisoned by them is is by actually picking them up. Okay, that's good to know. I make music. Do you uh, want to join a little verse? Use a drink. Which is cocoa nuts. It is 100% cocoa nuts. Join a verse, as in like sing a verse. Where I need a long stick. We'll craft with that, and I think it was just a rope. Hey, look at that—a bow. I don't know where I'm gonna store it. I guess we'll store it there. Okay. And then arrows. I use small sticks and feathers. Do I have small sticks? I don't have any small sticks right now. There's also a bow trap. Interesting. Logs become... Three planks. Oh, they become planks and sticks. Okay. 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 I'll try to get a few of these. Or a wrap. A wrap? Hmm. I don't know if I'm ready for that. I don't know if I'm ready. I'm not the best uh, rap artist. Try to have a good number of sticks here, too. Harvesting a long stick just gives you more sticks. Okay. Good. Good. Hearing around, uh, so uh, another thing I haven't tested out though. Those do affect my carry weight. They should, but I wasn't totally sure. I'm a little slow now. Okay, let's make some arrows. Arrows. Uh, was it also ropes or multiple? Multiple feathers? I'm trying to remember now. God, I'm thirsty. Yeah. 
Okay. We're gonna make six arrows. This will help us with hunting, hopefully. You can sing if you want. Or <laughs> I mean, I definitely sing. I just don't generally sing uh, um, for uh, for actual, like, serious purposes. I always just sing to be silly. All righty. Uh, let's see. I need some water. Right? Yeah, I need protein more, though. Okay, let's try this out. I've never shot a bow in this game. I, I don't know how it's going to go. I don't really want to... Um, well, I don't want to shoot the, the, the birds over there because I'm going to have to go into the piranha-infested waters to get them anyway. I'm going to do a save here. I'm going to save this one over the drug lab one. Um, which was this one here. Because I, I think that save is toast anyway. So, alright. Let's see if we can get some meats. <laughs> Doesn't have to be a serious song. I'll probably, uh, I'll probably, uh, politely decline. I appreciate the offer, John Carlo. Oh! Whoa, holy jeez! <laughs> Talk about weapon sway, my freaking gosh. That was horrendous. Also, what kind of goofy music is this? You're hunting the tip here. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, there's more psychiatria. Oh, it broke? Yeah, I don't know where it went. I wish there was like a blood trail to, tra uh, to track, but there does not appear to be. No problem, mate. Are you in Australia? Are you Australian? Hmm. Well, yeah, I, I, I was trying to use Charles's advice of, of going for a headshot, but holy cow, this dude's like, oh, let me aim the bow. Let me aim the bow. I need to rest. This dude, it just continuously confirms that he has no business being out here. No business whatsoever. Nora, but your girlfriend is from Scotland? Go ahead and drink that. Still, okay, I need multiple of those. Me needs multiples. Also, I'm kind of curious, can you just boil? Could I boil water? Have I tried that? Oh, that actually has water in it, okay. Move a little closer here. Okay, it's got dirty water in it. Two parasites. I'm just curious. I've not actually tried this. Can I boil water in the... Like, cooking it in here? Okay, it does work. Perfect. So I don't really need that water filter. That water filter is just bonus at this point. And hey, we're almost hydrated now. Pretty good. Yeah, we get the sanity uh, from being over here too. All right, we're going to take a real quick sleep. I wanted to get too late, but I also need the energy. God, I'm so hungry. Yeah, I know you're hungry, Jason. But dude, we gotta oh. You don't aim very well. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, this is pointless. I mean, this is legit freaking pointless. Okay. Tried throwing my spear at that bird to get some meat from the bird? And that didn't do anything. Will it work on this bird? Nope. What in the heck? Oh. No way, this thing's got a freaking spear sticking through it! <laughs> hey, say TV. New here, all my normal friends are offline. Needed someone to fill in the quiet void while I work on being productive this morning. Welcome in, hey, say. Wait, no space in backpack for the shell? Oh, we gotta make some space for that. We gots to. Uh. I don't know what to do with these Brazil nut bowls. I'm just gonna go ahead and destroy them. Move some move some stuff around a little bit. Arrows just take up a lot of space. Hey Kimma, their beds are so dirty. They are. Drinking boiling water equals best chance of survival. Yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I also need to get um I just can't rearrange this stuff well enough. Tobacco flowers. What am I doing with all this charcoal? I could eat charcoal. I could also harvest it, which gives me campfire ash. I'm just going to destroy that. I don't know the point of it. I wish I could move this whole stack. There's a tapir there. Come on! Okay, that should definitely fit now, right? Yes. Okay. They should call this game Inventory Hell. Anyway. Kimba, how's your day going? Hope you're having a wonderful morning. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, I gotta wash up before I start cooking this crap, though. Can't complain. I'm sure uh, I'll have something to gripe about later. Wait, stick fish trap? All in all, an okay Wednesday morning. I'm in the same boat though. How big is an armadillo sh armadillo shell? I have no idea. Hopefully it's a hopefully it's good. Oh, it is kind of. I mean, it's pretty good size. I got to remake another fire. Okay, I can't put the armadillo shell there. Let's see if I throw a couple ropes in there. Nope. Okay. What if I throw like a stick or? Uh, Kind of, I feel like I want to use some, like, armor out of this. Nope. Okay. Well, we'll figure it out later. Okay. I got to I gotta light a fire, but my dude's kind of tired right now, so. Homie's pretty tired. All right. We got that, and then we'll throw some armadillo. Oh, I only got one armadillo meat in there. Hmm, okay, okay. And we'll make a notebook uh, or another small fire there. Hungry. Wait, I don't have any more small sticks? What happened? To oh, I made arrows. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. I don't want to pass out over here. But there might be some sticks on the ground. Palm leaves. My stupid uh, axe broke. Backpack organization is my biggest gripe in this game. Yeah, it's not very fun. It is certainly not much fun. I also, uh, I'm also wondering, is there a way to... There is a brightness, right? Yeah, my brightness is so dang dark. I don't need to be much brighter, but at least... I think when the moon is out, I think it's only fair. There we go. All right. A couple more small sticks. I think that's enough to make the fire. I'm not going to have enough to pop the pop the spark, though. 
Don't have a chest back at camp. I don't have a chest. I need to I need to make one. All right, that is crafted, but I'm not going to have enough energy to actually pop a spark. So, let's have a little sleep. Yeah, I'm just trying to get to the point where I can freaking survive. <laughs> It's like right now I can't even travel anywhere because I I just don't have the energy. Just don't have the energy. I say, bro, if you can't do this with all the energy I gave you, I'm going to be very upset. All right. Uh armadillo meat tier. God, I'm so hungry. Yeah, shut up, Jason. Also, we know this guy's name isn't Jason, but we call him Jason. All right, we got a meat soup. I'm gonna go ahead and drink that. 50 proteins? Dang, them armadillos are freaking stacked. Okay, okay. Armadillo meat was the name of my da jazz slash death metal fusion high school garage band. <laughs> Inventory hell is when you work in retail, just throwing that out there. I have worked in retail, yeah. You just get good at Tetris. Speaking of retail, going into going to sign a job offer for management position in a couple minutes here. Are you really? Well, GG's, Kimma. Hey say, appreciate that follow. Good to have you in here. Have you been playing Green Hell for a while, Hey say? Cheers. Cheers. Welcome, welcome. How the hell do you even see in this game? It is difficult. Could have used the campfire ash with the armadillo shell? Maybe. I doubt it, though. I had a job last week and was there for two days, and it was a kitchen, and I had some real health and safety issues, so I left. Gotcha. Glad you were able to find something else so quickly. Right, yeah. There are so many red flags. Spooky, somehow I wouldn't be surprised if that was real. I feel like, I feel like Spooky was in a garage band. When manager tells you they don't usually put you in the system to punch in until day five because most people don't make it the first week. Yikes. Oh, geez. Yeah. He's such a Jason. Freaking, freaking hate Jasons. <laughs> one of my, one of my best friends in college uh, is named Jason. So I don't know. It's funny. I know some other Jasons. But it's just funny. This guy, this guy's a uh, very Jason-y. Thought it was Jake from State Farm. It, it is actually Jake. Yeah, it's actually Jake. Okay, we need some fats. Fats are not a problem. Uh, I can just eat these unknown nuts all day. I'm gonna go ahead and destroy these uh, spoiled mushrooms. See, this pocket is fine. Like, I've got tons of space in this pocket. Uh, sorta. I guess these... Really, I need to, like, I need to manually keep this crap lined up myself that way it doesn't get so out of whack but it is tough i i'm assuming i can make i, I feel like i want to make some armor or something with my armadillo shell i don't know if that's actually going to work or not but that's what i'd like to do also how are my weapon durabilities going 29 percent on the bow 100 percent on the spear 90 Ooh, the obsidian spear is going to break any minute move the bone knife into slot I, uh, I don't have anything else. I do need to make another axe. Which can I? It was two... Was it two stones? Two stones and a rope? Yeah. Which is a higher quality axe than the stone axe. We're going to move it right. Uh, well, I guess we're going to move the bone knife back out. Durability is only 45%, so still not great. Some spooky lore. I've never been in a band and lack all musical talent. I'm an appreciator and supporter, but not a maker, despite wishing I was. I'm I'm honestly in the same boat. In the same boat. Alright, we're on the hunt for fats and carbs now. Carbs, even. I to be honest, I didn't think I'd be uh having to look for carbs, but I got to. We there were some banana trees uh relatively nearby, but I've since lost sight of them. But I don't want to give up on hunting for any sort of food type. Over this. Be 
because uh, I could always, I mean, my protein, we know I'm going to run out of protein at some point. What's that in the water? Is that a crab? And a mouse? Can I eat mice? I took the mouse body. Okay. There's another one over there. Let's go ahead. And, let's spear this crab here. Oh, that one saw me and ran away. That one didn't, though. But I didn't hit it. Really? Hmm. Can I have permission for a clip, please? There's only one Jason I consider a good friend. It was a streamer on Twitch. Really? Does he still stream? Can't believe nobody else picked up on that. Picked up on what now? A friend and I play it often, though I haven't streamed it lately. Gotcha, gotcha. So how is the multiplayer? How do you how do you enjoy it? I have yet to play. I have yet to play. There's more Psychotria right here. I think I will go ahead and take a little nap. Uh, although I am dying of carb. Lack of carbs. Oh, that was there. I didn't even see that. <laughs> I could just put this piranha in my backpack normally. Okay, me trying to take it, it means it's no longer trapped now, I guess. But there's no space in my backpack. Okay. Uh, backpack. Pack, back, pack, pack. Uh, I should make a storage. This is getting out of hand. Getting out of hand. Um, okay. So there are walls and yada, yada, yada. Is it in here? Actually, I feel like it's going to be in here. Stands for sticks would be... That would be okay. Small stones, big stones, palm leaves... Planting boxes. I have not found a way to... I haven't found any seeds, have I? But maybe I could harvest some... St Actually, I have found some seeds, haven't I? Interesting. Why haven't I done that then? There are some storage options somewhere in here. I'll go to sleep here in just a second. I'm just... I'm terrible at... I'm terrible at using the notebook. It's just not intuitive at all. Jason's not very organized. Campfire. Water filter, bamboo water filter, traps, small shelters. I could have sworn I had some sort of storage. Maybe I didn't though. Let's get uh, let's get get Jason to go to sleep. We got carbs to find in the morning. Hey, Woodsy, welcome in. Oh, it's a brutal survival game. Out of, out of context, nuts. Worked with a Jason who was a total know-it-all, really a turn-off, even just on a friendship level. Aw. I had an automobile accident with a Jason during summer vacation before senior year. That's a doozy of a story. Oh, geez. <clears throat> what you said. Been streamed about three years. He got a job driving trucks on the road, so streaming became less consistent for him. Freaking right, Jason? I could easily die from lack of carbs as well. Same. That one I can't even blame him for. Even the most battle-hardened among us need carbs. A lot. A lot of carbs. Me likey carbs. Carbs are my favorite. Um, but I need to find... Aha! Some bananas. I knew there was a banana tree nearby. Hopefully it continues to replenish. I could also... Wait, I could harvest them? Hang on a second. What, what happens if you harvest them? You get banana seeds! <gasps> yes! Yes! Okay. So maybe I will make a planting box. God, could use a drink. You're not even that bad, dude. Shut up. You're fine, Jason. All right, let's see if I can see if I can make a planty a planty box over here. Uh, Cause I, don't, I mean I don't know how to do anything else. 
Small planting box or a large planting box? Sticks and logs or sticks and planks. Okay, so four trees chopped or two trees chopped. How does this work? Find available place. Up here? Wait, it can go up there? Come on, game. Really? You can put it on the roof of this place, but not on the ground. Alright. Hungry. I think we'll work on that. Yeah, Woodsy, it is a brutal, brutal survival game. It is very difficult. I struggle just even surviving, let alone trying to trying to do the storyline. Uh, it's a rough one. It's a rough one. It's uh, but it's it's gotten my attention though. Like, it, I'll be honest. I don't know exactly. Uh, sometimes I wonder why. Like, why do I enjoy this game? But I I think it's just it's kind of the same reason people enjoy the Dark Souls games. Like, I just feel, I feel like, uh, let's see, I needed logs for this one, right? Oh, log, oh, you get two logs per tree? Oh, shoot. So, planks are probably only, you could probably get enough planks for, yeah, that's fine. All right. We're going to go ahead and drop those. We'll get us some sticks. Uh, yeah, I think it's the same reason people like Dark Souls, though. I I do. Uh, it's it's a challenge, but it also feels accomplishable somehow. God, I'm thirsty. Like I know I can beat this game. It's gonna test me very very much, but I know I can do it. I just I know it in my bones. I can feel it. Alright, gotta chop one more tree. Carbs of the taste disagreed. Plant a banana tree empire. Oh, I would love to. I would absolutely love to. Do I get logs from these stick trees? I'm assuming not. Well, that tree is too too large to chop. Uh, okay, let's find out. Uh, no, this tree's here. This, this tree here will do. Just such a whiner. I think that's that's what I don't like so much about him. He's just such a dang whiner. Yeah, bro, you're in the jungle. You're gonna get hungry. All right, there we go. Can I, I? I picked up some banana seeds. They are right there. Fertilizer. Wait, I have to fertilize it. Can I just take a dump on it? Huh. I don't know. We're going to find out. that This is all new to me. Farming is all new to me in this game. It's had an apple cinnamon crunch bagel. It was so delish. It was delish, so I'm carved up for a bit. Oh, that sounds really good, Kirk. I am jealous. I'm very jealous. Assuming a banana tree would l need a large one. I think so, too. I think so. That's why I was, I was trying to be safe on it. I would rather build the small one, but I think we got to be safe. Let's go get some more, uh, let's see. Char oh, the fire's about to burn out. Let's go ahead and see if I can save it. Does that work? It does. Sure does. Yes, Jason. I'd like to throw that on the ground instead of in the fire. Definitely what I wanted to do there. No doubt. No doubt, my friend. No doubt. Okay. Yeah, we gotta keep doing that. Uh, I, I don't know that it really matters too much, but, but... I don't know. Okay, let's get some more water in there, too. I don't have any other meat to cook. The armadillo, I'm just surprised the armadillo meat was so good. I had a a smaller armadillo at some point. Oh, that's... Drink that. God, I'm so hungry. I know you're hungry, Jason, but we got to drink some water for now. Uh, am I low? I'm low on fats, aren't I? Oh, yeah, for sure. I got all these Brazil nuts in here, though. Or could I put the nut? Could I make nut soup? 
Nut soup. There we go. All right. Oh, and they have some carbs in them too. Yeah. Shoot, Brazil nuts are gonna are gonna keep me alive. Might need a pen of animals to get feces. Maybe. Off to sign job offer. Might be back in a bit. If not, have a great day. Good day, everyone. You as well, Kemma. Thanks for stopping in today. And GG's on the job. Hope everything goes okay. Hope everything goes very well. Hydration, 18%. Can I... No, I don't want to plant that. Could I... Would that pour water on it? Or do I got to just wait for rain? Damn, what if I put... Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of worried. What, armadillo shell? Oh, shoot. About to pass out. This is not super weak right now. Hello, Lady Iron. Gonna wake up in the middle of the night? This is fine. This is fine. And we'll do another save here. I'm actually kind of... Kind of killing it here on the saves. I'm going to save over this one. No, I'm going to save over this one here. Okay. Oh, the banana tree is growing. Okay, so it'll just probably grow faster if it's fertilized. I don't care. I just want it to grow. If I could grow make it grow faster, I would. But it doesn't have to. Okay, is that... That piranha is 100% dead, but... Um, but I can't actually grab it, I guess? Maybe I'll just destroy this... Yeah. I could go throw some of these on the fire. I don't know if it's going to let me grab the piranha. Oh, there it is. Very touchy. There we go. We got the piranha. Perfect. I'm going to go throw some of these sticks on the fire. If it's still going. And it's not going. Fantastic. Okay, well then I guess I'll harvest these other sticks. Lady Iron, how is your day? How was your day? Are you ready for some Phasmo on Friday? Are you as excited about it as I am? Uh, if you go into the game... Oh, sorry. I missed your message, Heisei. Um, if you go into the game knowing that you'll more than likely die more than you are alive, you'll like it. It's a fun game, though. It is just very tough. It, it is, I mean, it's been good. It's been good. It's just a tough one for sure. All right. So I don't like that I have to always go back to the notebook for this. Wait. I move this plank over here. It's in the way. Yes, yeah, I'm excited, Lady Iron. You're gonna carry me, though. You know that, right? You, I think you know that. All right, clean water. Uh, let's harvest the piranha. So we've got oh, three fish bones. That is very good. And then one piranha raw meat. We'll throw this in a soup. Okay. Uh, we do need more proteins. We also need more carbs. All right, fish soup, 24 proteins, 12 energy, 10 hydration. Not bad. Not bad. Could be better, but certainly not bad. Piranha. <laughs> yeah, if I could, uh, I could maybe go and stab some here. I'm just worried that they'll start eating me before I can, uh, I can get them. But yeah, there are piranha all up in there. Those are all piranha right there. Oh, get absolutely wrecked, bruh. Okay, that is very cool. I did not know the spear could do that. But now I do know that I can... Okay. 
So let's try to get another piranha then. I can make two fish soups at once. That's what I need. I need to start getting this stuff kind of collected here. Will it be able to clip through the rock? I don't want to chance it. Come on, baby. Damn it. Risked it. I risked it and uh, I, 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 I lost. Okay. So we got to inspect. Oh, we have leeches too? Holy cow, we have several leeches. Okay, we better check all our extremities here. Oh, yep, there's the fish bite. Okay, I think I just need Molinaria, which I've got. Um, all right. I do know that. I love that. I love that you know that, Lady Iron. Yeah, yeah, Lutz. I know. I'm going to have to carry you because you're terrible at the game. I know. All right. We're going to try to risk it again because I'm stupid. I should probably do this during the day, don't you think? Would that help? Ooh. To be honest, thought I thought I had it. I don't know how it's missing. Maybe it's just too short. All right. Well, forget it. Forget it. As nice as it is to be able to just snag piranha out of the water, uh, I got to be a little more careful. I'm I'm just very glad we got fish bones though, because that I can use those. I believe I can use those as needles. I believe. All right. Carbs, carbs, carbs. We still have some more Brazil nuts. Oh, the mouse body. I forgot I had a mouse body. Gives me mouse meat. Mouse meat is pretty funny. Um, do what that entails. Meat soup. 12 proteins, 10 hydration, 5 energy. So that's solid. Solid. Hey, Gucci. You love this game? Welcome in. How have you been? How's life been treating you? 100% hydration. Okay, I wonder how long that's going to take. It's growing, though. It's growing. And we're surviving. We're surviving. I'm kind of taking my time just to survive out here. Let me go ahead and save it again. Gucci, um, how, how long have you been playing this game for? This game is a tough one. I've been struggling a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. I mean a lot of it. Fire's still doing solid. Uh, coconut is empty now. Go ahead and refill it. Couple years, I guess. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, if I could find another coconut, that'd be great. Because then I could have four coconuts on the fire. Currently rolling with uh, just two. Alright, what happens if you eat charcoal? I'm kind of curious. Oh, you can get rid of food poisoning that way? What? You lose uh you lose sanity though. That kind of sucks. But that's at least that's really good to know. I need to store those up. Food poisoning be bad sometimes. When I first got on Twitch, I saw this Aussie streamer playing it. Very cool. Very very cool. Losing sanity is a vibe. Oh, 100%. I uh, that part I I definitely think is realistic and I identify with. Well, some of the other stuff I don't. Um, I got an infection because I I I cut myself falling off like a two foot a two foot high ledge. Um, and really anybody with two functioning legs should be able to should be able to land that jump, but it just didn't work out. Uh, okay, we got some Molinaria right here. I'm actually gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that. Leaf that. <laughs> I'm so clever, you guys. I'm so incredibly clever. Also, I remember I made a pickaxe before, but I don't remember what it's actually good for. I don't know what it's actually good for. I should at least look at some uh, some other buildings and whatnots. 
bow and arrow, stone spear, four prong spear, bone knife, axe, torch, stone blade, stone axe, hand drill, rope, coconut badon. Okay, that's all the tools I can craft. I also have not read many of the many of these things here. Um. Hmm. Yeah, there's some stuff. Oh, you know what? Did I not ever pick up mud since I died? Because I don't... There's no mud stuff at all. I didn't. Wow, I am dumb. Okay, so... Yeah, there's a storage box right there. Ten sticks, two mud bricks, two planks. I need a mud mixer, though. Uh, Four sticks and eight logs. Okay, let's do that. Let's plant that baby. This is very forest esque. Oh, it is 100%. 100%. Let's make a mud mixer right here. Need uh, four sticks. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we got some chopping to do. I am thankful the trees grow back pretty quick. Usually, it looks like they grow back in like a couple days. All right, long sticks. Do I need long sticks at all? I don't think so. I think I'll go ahead and harvest these guys. We get sticks out of them. Small sticks we'll need at some point. Didn't grow back when I played this. They don't. As long as you don't chop down the... Uh, as long as you don't chop down the... So maybe that's an update. But yeah, as long as you don't chop down the, the stump, uh, they do grow back. Which is, like I said, pretty nice. They do now, yeah. Gotcha. So it's been a little bit then. And then what I need? Uh, eight logs total. Eight logs. Mud forge? What sort of notebook entries am I getting right now? Mud mixer. Storage box is what I'd like to get. Uh, let's see. Mud shed wall. Uh, are there... Nothing else had any, uh... Oh, no, there's a mud charcoal furnace. What? Three mud bricks is all I need for that? What? What? It doesn't draw unwanted attention? There's a mud forge. No idea what that is. Mud shower. Which I, I don't know what that is either. If it just cleans me off or... Bow trap. That's an interesting idea. I need 27 sticks for a stick fish trap. Or 50 for a large one? Holy crap. Okay, but that's how you start getting your food without needing to hunt for it, which would be great. When I say great, I really mean... Amazing. Alright. Try getting some logs over here. Actually, might not be able to chop this tree down yet. Yeah, I'm still short on carbs. My bananas haven't grown yet. If I can get this tree chopped down. There we go. Alright. One log. Two log. Ooh, I'm very slow. Come on, Jason. Come on, Jason. I'm actually building a life for us here. Yeah, if I could make a base here and uh, and then make it to where... Uh, I could I could go out on missions from here. That's the goal. That's what I'm trying to do is get to a point where I can actually Survive when I'm away from a base because right now I can't that's that's why I keep dying. I'm certain of it All right, you need a nap though I need to rest. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do Jason you dummy Okay, fire's still burning. That's cool. That's cool. Comfortable sleep? Wait, that was comfortable? That's kind of cool. I'm going to be honest. I, I didn't know that that was. Hope this axe lasts long enough. I should be okay. There are stones around here that I found. But it would be nice if I could just... Uh... Yeah, wow. I am very over-encumbered, I guess. Yeah. 
Are you in story mode mode or survival? I'm in sto uh, story mode. Yeah, so I'm not abandoning the story. I just don't feel like I can get to the points that I need to right now. Because I'm just constantly worrying about... Uh, like, I don't have the supplies that I need to be able to currently, like, keep myself fueled. So, I think once I get there, I'll be fine. I'll be able to I'll be able to advance in the story, I think, relatively quickly. The story is not terribly long, from my understanding. Alright. Why are you so weighed down, though? Uh, how do I know how much this crap weighs? How much does the armadillo shell weigh? Armadillo shell weighs only two pounds. I'm guessing all these sticks and weapons are what weigh a lot. Three planks. What do planks turn into? Nothing? Okay. They don't weigh very much either, so I don't think I'm going to drop them. Good plan. Stream title think, uh, made me think you were story. Oh, yeah, I am in the story. Yeah. I am in the story. Just not quite, uh... Not quite to the point where, uh, I can actually... I found the drug lab yesterday when I was playing, but, um, unfortunately, I, uh, I died really after finding it. Um, but that's the problem, is I went from here, where I actually had some food and such, like, like, could be at least somewhat sustainable, to over there, I, I was, like, dying of hunger and thirst and stuff on the way over there. By the time I got there... I picked up a few worms, didn't have any bones to clean out the uh, the worms with. So I went insane and, and got stabbed. So yeah, that's how that's going. Man, the encumbrance is painful in this game. Wowzers in my trousers, I am slow. I only need to chop down one more tree though. I could build a, you know, maybe that's what I should do. I should build like a stick, a stick stand over here. I have probably the tools or the resources to do it already. Um, although again, I always log stand, long sticks, sticks, long sticks and ropes. Okay. So I don't then sticks and ropes. I can make a small stick stand. Do I even have any small sticks? No, I do. How do I store them there, though? Oh, there we go. So yeah, try to try to lighten the load a little bit. It doesn't it doesn't help a ton, but you know it's something. Okay, so that's that's a stand. Stand for ropes. Stand for sticks. Long sticks and ropes. Put this one over here, I guess. It's not going to be the prettiest base you've ever seen, you know? We need three long sticks. I actually think there's some long sticks over here. But yeah, once I'm a little more self-sufficient, I'm going to tackle this storyline with some serious aggression. I'm actually... Uh, the storyline is interesting. Uh, we, we laugh and joke about how Mia is... Uh, well, she doesn't care about uh, Jake at all. She just kind of seems to be doing her own thing. But uh, but I do actually want to find out. How much do the bones weigh? Oh, the bones are heavy? That would make sense. Yeah, that's why I need to store this crap, though. I'm excited to be able to store it. Alright, so I can put actual sticks here. Sticks weigh a little bit, not, not not anything crazy. So we got sticks, short sticks. There's also, what, a long stick and a log? Long stick, log stand. Small stones, big stones. 12 sticks, 4 ropes. Okay. Yeah, let's get one of those going, too. What's going on, Nostalius? Oh, sorry, not to call you out of lurk. Big Max. Not to call you out of lurk, my friend. Hope you're having a good day, though. Let's check out the bones. 
bones weigh 1.2 pounds. They are pretty heavy. They are pretty heavy. All right, I'm going to go clean up my tree mess here, and then I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> Even just starting to sprint makes this dude exhausted. Eh, I don't blame him. He's very weak and pathetic. Shouldn't be out here. Actually, gathering sticks like this would be exhausting. Hopefully they're all here when I wake up, though. I don't want to lose them. And the sun is setting, so... Yeah, we'll wake up in the night again. Per usual. I'll go ahead and do max max sleep. Yeah, we still need carbs. That banana tree can't grow fast enough. Perfect. I only had one small stone. I thought I had more than that. Oh, well. No, it's fine. It's fine. I have leeches on me. Sure do. Do another... Uh, we'll do a, a full check here. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. Uh, so we made the stick stand. What else can we do? Big stones. 18 sticks and 6 ropes. Palm leaves stand. That actually would be pretty solid, too. Log stand. That over here. And what do we need? Long sticks first. Six long sticks. Base is coming along nicely. Just got to get all my, you know, trying to get all my storage stuff handled as best I can. As best I can. Do I clean up all the garbage over here? I have not yet. Okay. We got sticks. We got small sticks. We got all sorts of different sticks. Oh, that's a long stick. Okay, hang on a second. We'll pick that up in a, in a, in a second. Clean up all the other sticks first. I don't like that you have to take, that you have to hold E to take the rope. I feel like you should just be able to pick up the rope just like anything else. Like, why would I not want to pick up the rope? It's like, it's like one of those things. Well, are you sure you want to pick up the rope? Yeah, I want to pick up the rope. Alright. More sticks over here. That's actually we'll we'll keep regular sticks. God, I could use a drink. Yeah, I know, Jason. I know. I know, buddy. I know. I know. It'll all be okay, okay, pal. Carrying three long sticks. And we're not moving that slow either. Look at this. Freaking Tarzaning through the jungle here. I'm back. Why does everyone forget about testing and pipelines? Arg. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Testing, I will say, sometimes testing kind of... Uh, I sometimes... Uh, testing gets put on the back burner, too. Not on purpose. Not on purpose. I'll say that. Alright. Water... Did okay on that. I gotta rebuild the fire again. Yeah, charcoal is, uh... Not in short supply. Oops. mud forge though. I'm excited to build like a mud charcoal furnace, that kind of stuff. I just need a couple more logs. Couple more logs. I think we got a couple. Do I just need one of these? Take three. I don't remember how many I needed for this. I don't have any sticks in my inventory, but there's plenty of sticks up here, so we'll grab these again. Ooh, glowy mushrooms. Also some palm leaves. Did I do that? Have those been there for a while? I don't remember doing that.
Yeah, the thing the thing you guys have to know about me is that I get pretty impatient. I uh I sometimes I'm like, "Oh, shoot, I should be able to do the storyline." And so let me just go ahead and blaze on through this, but then I'm just not at all ready. So I'm trying to make sure I'm taking the time to make to make uh Jake a little bit more uh self-sufficient and then uh and then I'll be all right. I'll be all right in terms of attacking the storyline. This should finish the mud brick mixer. I just got to put river mud in there. All right, let's do it. Got to do another one. Campfire ash. And then I got to add water, it looks like. Oh, a lot of water. Okay. That, that, uh, Bidon was almost empty. Okay. We're gonna do a couple of these, I guess. I'm sure there's a way to hotkey that. Maybe there is, and I just don't know how to do it. One more, one more. Did you ever find uh, food at the drug lab? I did, yeah. It was like right before I died, or was about to die though. Okay, we're making mud. Bricks, I guess. I'm now dirty, which makes sense. Look at all those mud bricks. How many do we get? I can harvest them. Two, three, four, five. There are six in there? Heck yeah. And what do I need for the storage? Uh, storage was here, right? Storage box. I need two mud bricks, two planks, ten sticks. I can make that, I think, pretty much right now. Can I build it up here? I'd like to put it on this platform, if possible. Right there. Uh, nope, it's going to have to go on the ground. Okay, that's fine. No biggie. No biggie. Uh, I can't see very well, though. Hopefully this is an okay spot for it. All right. I need two more. Do I have any? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Two mud bricks. Also, oh yeah, I'm running out of time. Dang it. We're at least going to get this storage made, which I'm pretty excited about. I'm assuming I can only carry one. Yeah, these babies are big. I can only carry one mud brick at a time. I'm going to harvest, though. I'm kind of curious what that's going to create. Hey, Silverbeak Crow. Hello, hello. We need, oh, two more sticks. Oh, really now? Okay. I guess you got to build them a little different at a time. So we wouldn't take, take one more. Two planks. I got those. And then another mud brick. All right. So excited for your storage chest. I have a feeling I built it the wrong way, though. It kind of looks like it's built facing the opposite direction. I don't know if that's going to matter or not. Um, It was dark. But it looks like it's facing the other way. Come on, dude. You got to get over this tiny hill here. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Ooh, yes, baby. Let's go. All right, armadillo shells got to go in there because I don't know what to do with that yet. We'll put the bones in there as well. Um, lots of charcoal to put in here. Lots of charcoal. Also, we get to organize this how we want. It's pretty cool. Is there a way to take a stack? I don't see a way to take a stack, but maybe there's a button I just don't know how to push. I don't know that I'm supposed to push, I guess. I, I know how to push buttons. Silver Beak, hope you're having a good day and welcome in. I, uh, I'm i still pretty new to the uh, the world of Green Hell, but so far uh, this is definitely the best day I've ever had playing this game. No question. All right, there's that. And then uh, you can't stack campfire ash, can you? That seems 
Kind of silly, but I guess not. Alt or control? Okay, let's try alt. Oh, I just passed out. Was not paying attention. Clearly. And I probably picked up a leech. Oh, I got a, a parasite from being dirty, or a worm from being dirty. Two worms. Okay, alright. Let's fix this real quick, and then unfortunately I'm gonna have to... I have to call it a day. Do that. I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to wash myself before I do those. I'm not actually sure. So I don't like... Oh, gosh dang it. Combine the charcoal with something green by harvesting it? Okay, I gotta try that. Combine the charcoal. Oh... I think I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Wash myself. Okay, that's better. And I'll try to store the rest of this crap in here real fast. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do my experiments tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna leave the fish bones in my inventory. But that's. Thank you so much for the being able to stack them like that. That is a huge, massive help. Massive, massive help. I'm sitting here like, how do I get these guys to move in a way that actually makes sense? Can I stack that there? I can. Full stack now. Keep the Brazil nuts in here. I don't know what to do with this unknown dried flower yet. I have dried tobacco there as well. I'll keep the dressings on me here. I gotta stack these babies in tight. And then is there a way to rotate as well? I feel like there should be a way to rotate, but I've not, I've not unlocked that. Okay, wow, that is such a help. Um, I can store these guys in here too. Oh my goodness. My inventory is lean and mean. I'm about to fall asleep again. Alrighty, there we go. Lovely. Okay. What do I need? Pretty much everything. Pretty much everything. Let's actually, uh... I gotta build a fire, though, too. Yeah, that's gonna have to come next time. Uh, if I could just chop this guy out of the way, that'd be lovely. I built this a little too close. We're gonna take some of these Brazil nuts. Here we go. Okay. Got my fats under control. A few carbs and some proteins. Nothing crazy. But, you know. Uh, you dirty boy. I was very dirty there for a second. That's for sure. That is for dang sure. I'm going to do a save here. And uh, I'm going to save over this one again. Unfortunately, that's all the time I've got for today. Save and quit. Just gonna quit. I just saved. All right, friends. Unfortunately, I gotta run to the tavern. I'll meet you there. It was good hanging with you. Yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate you stopping in, Heisei. Control tips are no spoilers, and they help enjoy the game better. So I'm glad to provide. No, seriously, that's a massive, massive help. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'd love to do a... I'd love to do a PWV. What's a PWV? You have a good one, too, Silverbeak. Uh, friends, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Let me give out some thank yous. Uh, and then I gotta run off to work. I got my meeting starting up here in about two minutes. Holman and Kirk, thank you both so, so much for being on the Mod Squad. Heisei TV for the follow. Kirk and Kama for the resubs. And our Kofi members, Bookpunk, Coleman, Iron, Phil... Fresh, curry, nidalicious, peachy, and spooky. You have a good Wednesday too, book punk. It's a good day for you. I feel so much better about where I'm at in Green Hell. I really do. I don't want to give up on this game. I don't know. I don't know if people are enjoying. I, I don't know if you guys enjoy the streams of it or not. I'm at least gonna. I'm at least gonna finish this game at some point. If even if it's not on stream, but. I mean, I I like streaming it because it's you guys see me in some pretty uh, 
pretty dangerous situations, but Silverbeak, cheers. Appreciate that follow. Welcome in. This one is to you, Silverbeak. True Kelt, this is for you. Cheers, True Kelt. Good stream. Appreciate it, my friend. Bye, Lady Iron. Have a wonderful Thursday, everyone. Exactly, Peachy. Exactly. Your Thursday. I will have a great Thursday tomorrow. All right, everybody. I got to run. Meeting is starting up. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, like I said, I think the plan right now is to play some chivalry because it looks like just absolute chaotic funness uh, and uh, kind of on brand. So I think we might check that out tomorrow. Um, and then Phasma with friends on Friday. So I'm looking forward to the next couple days, my friends. I hope you have an awesome rest of your Wednesday until tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Be safe out there. Know that you're loved and I'll see you soon. Bye.